Welcome back. It is 645. Thank you for staying with us. Many Central Georgia students are hard at work so they can do well on statewide tests. That's right. Our morning reporter TJ Anthony joins us live in studio to talk about the Georgia milestones and why some parents think the tests are an added stressor. Good morning to you, TJ. Good morning, Wanya and Caitlin. The Georgia milestone tests are back after a two year break. In 2020, they were totally canceled because of the pandemic. Last year, they were optional and counted for only 1.01% of a student's overall grade. Now they're back in action and counting for 20% of some students' total grade. It's very nerve wracking. Just I'm excited for high school and I think it's going to be a good schedule for me. But if I don't pass the Georgia milestones, then I'm not going to get to do that. I'm going to have to stay in eighth grade again. Abigail Edwards is an eighth grader at Bibb County's Miller Magnet School. She took the Georgia milestone test in 2021 when it was optional, but accounted for only 0.1% of her grade. She still took it seriously, but says she did not worry about it as much. Now the pressure is on. That's because third, fifth, and eighth graders could possibly get held back if they do not do well on the milestones. I started to get nervous about it because all of the teachers would say, okay, we're going to review this and you need to pay attention because we're going to be taking the milestones and that's what decides if you pass or not. Um, she is an excellent student. She is a straight A student, um, but it is, that is an added stress to have, you know, done all of your work all year and know that, you know, maybe that, could still be an issue. The testing is not required under federal law, so it is a state by state decision. Abigail's mother, Tara Edwards, wants to see a change in Georgia, similar to the university system of Georgia, not requiring the SAT or ACT for many Georgia public colleges. Most universities in the Georgia university system are no longer doing SAT and ACT. In a lot, in a lot of ways, this is exactly the same sort of high stakes testing that the nation is moving away from. We're still doing it. Now for high schoolers, the tests are 20% of their grade and for some districts, it's even their final exam. Abigail's mom brought up a good point about the University System of Georgia waiving the SAT and ACT test score requirements for most of their schools for the fall 2022 applicants. I know how happy many high schoolers were after actually hearing that news, Wanya and Caitlin. It definitely adds to the conversation about whether or not to continue these milestone tests. Well, thank you so much, TJ, for that report. I mean, it's definitely a good point when it mm -hmm. comes to test taking. There's so much more we can look at. We can look at GPA. We mm -hmm. can look at what activities these students are doing as well to make these decisions, uh, you know, as if they should go to the next grade or should they, they should go to college. Oh, there's so many students who are just not good test takers. You have the anxiety and the buildup from mm -hmm. all the tests that they just don't do well, not because they don't know the information. So it's definitely an interesting conversation that yeah. I'm sure will be ongoing. The state is expected to release each school and district's milestone scores in July.